Let's learn what 3D functions are by timing these six men eating seven six, feastables. Seven. What's this thing on the screen, Jimmy? This is a 3D function. So the time it takes to eat depends on two things, the number of people there are and the number of feastables that need to be eaten. So chat, with this function, we can work out that the time it takes for six people to eat seven bars is going to be 12 seconds, chat. Oh wait, guys, so do you have to plot that going upwards? Exactly, the output goes on the Z axis. For example, one man versus 10 feastables according to the function should take 100 seconds. Yo, plot a few more, Mr. Beast. No speed, I'm gonna plot all of them. What gate? It formed the surface. Wow. Wait, what the hell, guys? Why is it so steep here? Think about it. As you get closer and closer to there being zero people, it's going to take longer and longer to eat any amount of feastables. Hang on. How could you ever have stuff like 0.1 people? Use your imagination, man, for the sake of the example. Okay, sorry. So basically what you're saying is this whole surface shows how changing two numbers, people and feastables, affects the output, which is the feasting time. And that is what you call a multivariable function. 